Five years ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, a giant cooking arena, a kitchen stadium. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a to realize his dream, he first secretly started selecting the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Masaharu Morimoto. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. The Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from around the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day. Using all their senses, skills, creativity, they're to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where you will meet the master chefs from around the world and their artistic creations. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, the photographer most discerning when it comes to food recently commented on French cuisine in Japan. Everyone is only looking at Tokyo. That applies to any cuisine. French chefs, in my opinion, in Tokyo should go back to basics, I think. Whatever does he mean by that? He explains further. Take France, for example. Each region when you look at it, it has something to offer, special and unique to offer, nature, people, everything. I often go to Niigata to, I have a friend there. One day I found a nice, uh, great French restaurant there. Ah, true authentic French cuisine uses local ingredients. That's what he meant. And there is such a place here in Niigata. Born and raised in Niigata, serving quality French dishes using local ingredients. This is the man in question. I will take Kano-san's word and see for myself. Today's challenger, the standard bearer of local French cuisine. From Poisson d'Or in Niigata, Chef Koji Hosogai. It was when he was 18 that he entered the field of cooking. After years of training, he took off for France at 25, where he was exposed to real local French cuisine. Since returning to Niigata, his home, he has continued his effort to establish his own local French recipes. To see how far he is in his mission, Kano went to Niigata. He hooked up with Chef Hosogai at a local fish market, the base of his cuisine. A reunion of old friends. What time do you usually come here? Uh, about five o'clock. In, in the morning? Yeah. What's this uh, shrimp? Uh, what's it called? Sweet shrimp? What? Oh, Namban. These were caught in Niigata? Unlike many chefs, he prefers to go to the market himself, and that impresses the photographer as well. All the ingredients here are very fresh and speak of the culture of Niigata. While taking snapshots, the photographer could see the potential of local French cuisine. The fish Hosogai bought for Kano this day was a delicacy of Niigata, the black throat snapper. As he starts cooking, he assumes the expression of a professional at work. He has an aura of confidence, having the skill to do justice to the expensive fish. Looking good. Looks like it's ready to go. Sautéed blackthroat snapper. 
The Niigata fish now wears a gown of red wine sauce, surrounded by flowers of spring. So, Kano-san, how is it? Mmm, delicious. It matches well with the sauce and the crab meat and potatoes. Very nice. Mmm. When I'm on the tasting panel, I'm always looking at the calculations and the approaches of the chef, you know. You shouldn't fix your approaches in any way. Good luck. Thanks. A favorite of Temme Kano, flag bearer of local French cuisine, Koji Hosogai. His works are like poetry, depicting the four seasons. They are always full of imagination and local interest. So now, Hosogai, with your local cuisine, show us a new direction in French cuisine in Japan. I want to gain something new from the battle. I'll do my best. ニホンで最も下の声でいる写真家カノー天明が強烈に入れ込んでいるフレンチシェフを連れてまいりましたそれも食材豊かな新潟にこだわる地方フレンチの一種さあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えください新潟ポ
today's battle, the top man of Niigata's French cuisine scene, Ten Meikano's favorite chef versus Iron Chef French Sakai, who dominates the national spotlight, David versus Goliath, with oxtail as the theme. Settle in, hang with us. These guys are ready to get it on. On a kissing! All right, opening gong banged, and they are off and moving. And even Kano's fired up. He gave Hosogai a slap on the shoulders after the gong. And now the men up there selecting pieces of oxtail. Yeah, needless to say, these are tails of bulls, and we have two types, the so ones that are chopped by joints and the ones that are not chopped. And mm -hmm. some have already been boiled in bouillon because it just takes too long. So you can have the, the two types. All right, so some of the pieces already prepared then. Some of them are, yeah. Stewed in bouillon for about three hours. Okay, well, oxtail does take quite a while to cook, and yet challenger Hosogai is opting to take back a lot of raw pieces. You're right, he is. A French versus French cuisine battle with oxtail. Two bowls lined up to go head on against each other. First time we have had the theme here in Kitchen Stadium for a battle and Sakai versus a French cuisine expert today. Now let's meet our guests for this battle. First, once again, actress Keiko Saito. Nice to have you today. Hey, it's nice to be here. And we've got the artist Korn. Hi there. Good to have you back. Mm, looking good. Corn, where's the beef? You're getting it the third straight time. Yeah. Oh, beef. <laughs> I'm a beefy guest, I guess. Uh, before that, it was a fish. Codfish or something, right? Mm, yeah, it was. I love oxtail. Though. Great. I love tongue and tail. Okay. Uh, how about the cheek meat? <laughs> yeah, really good. And uh, usually you'd have it stewed, right? Right. Well, I was wondering how you'd do it. Uh, sure enough, you'd have some stewed, but it should be interesting how they'll cook the raw ones. All right, Corn. Well, thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks. And about the raw pieces, one hour, that might be a little bit difficult today for a complete cooking. Yeah, I mean, how on earth are they going to do that? All right, now the challenge has got something here. Yeah, the pressure cooker is in action. All right, well, there you go. That'll help for stewing in a broth right there, Doc. You're right. It's a typical approach doing it that way, together with carrots and onions, All things right. like that. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Squeeze on. From the floor, reporter Ota, go. Yes, I asked Kano-san where he thinks Iron Chef Sakai's weak points are, and he said, I know I've tried many of his dishes, but I don't remember the theme ingredients, and that could mean that he produces dishes that can't lose but aren't necessarily impressive enough, not, not much originality. And he said, if you want me to elaborate on that, we can talk about it later. Back to you. All right, well, Kano's been a regular member of the panel for a long time, pretty blunt when it comes to critiquing the dishes. He will not judge today, though. He will taste, and now Sakai frying the surface of these. Right, I think so. And he's probably going to use the pressure cooker as well, because one hour is just far too short for this. Okay, so this is just to char the surface a bit on both sides, then. Exactly. Harden it up a bit. All right, and then they'll go into the pressure cooker. Oh, my gosh, look at that wine. Dueling, <laughs> stooling. <laughs> right, also red guy wine here. stew. Red wine stew, maybe? Okay, these are stir-fried veggies, Doc? Yeah, definitely a red wine stew in okay, action here. Okay, standard approach. Mm, it matches really well with red wine. Yeah, that's the, the, uh, the choice of, of kings, really, the most popular way of doing it. Mm. Today's challenger from Niigata to Prefect. Kano says Hosogai is the prominent figure up there for French cuisine. He uses local ingredients the way it should be for French cooking. His restaurant, Poisson d'Or, he has a few celebrity fans among them in the Royal Box today, singer Mariko Takahashi. And she is here with her husband, Henry Hirose, right there. And to the right, the manager of the restaurant, Chisato Shibuya, a trio of supporters up in the Royal Box. Wow, wow. they got some highbrows up there. Mariko yeah, Takahashi. Mm, huh? Did you really? Really? Yeah, they look like dry persimmons. Uh -huh. And the use here would be for duck? Uh, flavor, I guess. That's all I can think of. Wow. Okay. Just the natural sweetness. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hey, wine-induced <laughs> flames. <laughs> oh, and yeah. more red wine. Red wine flavoring on this side, Kusan? too. Go. Yeah, let me give you the ingredients in the Challenger's pressure cooker. They are as follows. Oxtail braised in oil, then okay. thyme and laurel leaves, which are actually wrapped inside long onions, bouillon, and he's also added dried persimmons to that as well. Aha, uh -huh, perfect. Now, he tells me that the reason for using dried persimmons with the other ingredients is to make the meat more tender. As a tenderizer. Oh, okay. That's a first for me. Ah, good catch, good eyes. But they'll also add some sweetness. Okay. And for Kuzan? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, I also had a chance to tell Iron Chef Sakai about Kano's comments that his Food is only for winning and not enough originality. Chef Sakai grinned and said, the name of the game here is winning, right? After 70 battles, it's tough coming up with impressively original recipes all the time. Give me a break. <laughs> hey, I also see codfish roll. Yes, and the Iron Chef's using it with the bones uh -huh, over there. Uh -huh, I saw too. And he added some burdock too, I see. Mm. Uh, one oxtail here is about 100 bucks, I'm what? guessing. And so a good restaurant can charge 40 to $50 per dish using just 
one joint. Really? All right, wow. unbelievable. Squeeze well, on. Yes, go. Yeah, this time let me give you the ingredients the Iron Chef has in his pot. Oxtail, which was pan fried in salad oil, salt okay. and pepper, burdock, red wine, and bone marrow. marrow. He says the marrow will add a mild, slightly sweet flavor and a creamy texture. Hmm, bone marrow. Mm, yeah, well, he was uh, cracking the bones yeah. earlier to get that. Yeah. I saw that. That's oh. a classic technique, too. Yeah, it adds a gelatin-like texture and some flavor, like a bit of fat. Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah. Sakai relying on bone marrow while Hosa guys using dried persimmons for a little extra flavor. Yeah, mm. persimmons mm. are very interesting. Basically, like the same kind of stew, just a different twist. That's lard. Oh, on the Challenger, yeah, lard. What the heck is this? I think uh, this is the fat from around a horse's mane, yeah, I believe. Yeah, horse's mane. Wait a minute. That's <laughs> good. What? Yeah, it, it certainly looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> I agree with that. Well, we're not too sure yet. <laughs> uh, so let's find out. Go. hattori san is exactly right. This is the fat taken from the base of a horse's mane. We wow. were right. Oh, man, I love this. Me too. Yeah, it's I great. I never knew that. It's <laughs> just great so as nice. is. Uh, well, what does it taste like? Is it a complex taste? Or? Oh, it's also good for, you know, healing birds. Oh, that's good. Corn. <laughs> In Hakata City, there's a great horse meat restaurant up there. Oh, yeah, Kyushu Delicacy. But but how do they serve this fat? We're just raw. Raw? <laughs> Sliced. Oh. And with Squishy ginger. Sauce. Garlic yeah. sauce. Go ahead, Ota. Yes, this meat that you see the Challenger chopping up with yep. the fat was marinated when it was still raw in Japanese shochu, a kind of spirit, and was then boiled and removed from the bones after being marinated. Okay, I see. You said shochu? Yes, marinated. Marinated in shochu. Not wine. Not wine. Shochu mm -hmm. in a French dish. Cut off from the tail. Yeah, the ox tail, but the very best. Okay, now what do we have here, Iron Chef's side? Uh, I thought it was a codfish soft roll, but I was wrong. It's some kind of mushroom. Um, what kind? I forgot Maitake. the name. Okay, uh, okay, yeah. mushroom. okay yeah. rosemary on top. Grilled, yeah, perhaps? It said soft oh. roll. Squeeze on. <laughs> Go to One more thing about the meat the challenger was mincing, which was marinated in shochu. He says he did that for two reasons, to kill any germs or bacteria, and to do away th with the rather strong smell that oxtail has. Mm. Mm. Huh. Shochu, well, it kills germs and sometimes yeah, can that kill kind cells is, as well. <laughs> it can leave a strong smell. <laughs> I guess it depends on what type, though, yeah. Okay, yeah. now wait a sec. The Iron Chef's got something in the oven here. Yeah. Fukuizan. This is the replay. Go. Yeah, watching the replay, you can see that on top of the white maitake mushroom, stewed oxtail and rosemary, he has poured veal broth or fond de veau, and that dish is now in the oven. All right, with broth, gotcha, partner, by Iron Chef Sakai. It sounds like the ingredients for meatloaf. <laughs> Fukuizan. <laughs> Take it. Yeah, I asked Kano-san to forecast or predict what he thinks Iron Chef Sakai will be serving today, and he said red wine stew, that's a must-have item, with a lot of spring vegetables. Vegetables, vegetables, and more vegetables, that's always his strategy for avoiding a loss. Well, okay. Kano's got the book on Sakai, and he's reading lots of veggies today to make it to the table. See how that prediction holds. And now, Holso Guy with um, cod, what? Codfish. Yeah, the soft row here. The codfish soft row. All right, huh? a strange job in action. So far, both chefs have gone with red wine stews. Beyond that, we're in the dark on the rest of these tales, how they'll turn out. Codfish? Yeah, the soft row. Codfish soft row. Hmm, strange job in action. So far, both chefs have gone with red wine stews. Beyond that, we're in the dark on the rest of these tales, how they'll turn out. Now at this point, Ota, are you ready over there with Tenmei Kano? Can you get a few words with him? You betcha. Thank you, Kano-san. What's your view of this battle so far? The Iron Chef Sakai-san is sticking to his normal approach with more volume today. But uh, uh -huh. again, pattern-wise, the same old thing, if you ask me. In contrast, the challenger, his approaches are different. Hmm. What what was it? Uh, fat around the horse's mane? Yes, I He's doing unique things out there. I'm curious as to how he combines those with uh, oxtail. As far as originality goes, I think the challenger is ahead of the Iron Chef. Agree with me? Sakai-san? Okay, thanks. Back to you, Fukui-san. All right, well, the Iron Chef just ignored that question to him. He's busy working, while and while that was going on, he pulled out some fat netting here. Right, yeah. Mm. I saw truffles inside. Yeah, you're right. Truffles. Mm -hmm. And foie gras, his usual approach. All right. And now, here on replay, this is Hosogai removing the lid off his pressure cooker and a look inside there. It doesn't look real heavy color-wise, does it? No, it doesn't. Just a simple consomme color there. Very light. Not a color you'd expect, Doc, from a red wine stew. I don't think he's going to serve those vegetables, however. Huh? I think he'll strain them to make a sauce probably later. All right. Okay, oh, crab? The challenger has crab... Crab brains, I think. Uh, but how is he going to finish this going okay. inside? And, and what else is in there? 
Uh, I don't know. Okay, Ota will have it, I'm sure. Kuzan? Tell us. Yes, I think I can answer that for you. Besides the crab brains, the other ingredients in this bowl include chicken eggs, oxtail consomme, and strained codfish soft roll, all blended together. Oh. Okay. okay. Maybe it's going to be a batter for frying something? The soft roll uh, added here. Maybe not. That's a possibility. <laughs> eggs in this. Maybe. Yeah, maybe I've got a good chance. Okay, I'm, root I'm rooting for you there. Okay. Now on Sakai, Sai potatoes oh, wait, in wait, there, wait. I think. I know, I know. Croquettes. That's Croquettes. it. Croquettes. Yep. Uh, no, yeah. it could be. I'm telling you. Oh, you know, I think you're right. <laughs> you're right, yep. Oh, it looks good. Croquettes okay. would be a nice way to have this. Mm -hmm. And what about the foie gras? Oh, I think they're right in here. Not ah, right in there. Yeah, they're minced. Yeah, now after frying, they'd kind of melt and they'd be incredible with flavor. I never imagined wow. he'd make croquettes. What a luxurious croquette that'll be. <laughs> Oxtail foie gras combined. At least that's what we think it is right now. The makings of a croquette filling by Sakai. Fukuizan? Take it. Yeah, I asked Iron Chef Sakai if this mix using truffles and foie gras was going to be made into croquettes, and he said, yeah, the most luxurious croquettes on earth. Then he said, hey, Kano-san, so this doesn't impress you, huh? <laughs> hey, <laughs> take that, chief. <laughs> and now... Uh, Oh, wait. Passing this, the halfway uh, mark, 30 minutes to go. Shawan Mushi by this challenger, the kind of egg custard? That could be. Oh, perhaps. Hmm, okay, at any rate, we are in the second half of this oxtail battle and all French cuisine duel. Fukuisan. Go. Yeah, Kano-san, who is sitting on the challenger side and a longtime patron, of course, said he'd really like him to make his favorite soup if he would, but he knows it's a selfish request, of course. All right, well, a soup using <laughs> oxtail, that'd be welcomed by all, I think, okay, today. Okay, now what is it, noodles? This here what? on Hosogai's side. Fukuisan, this is a fat netting. Ah, fat netting. All right, netting. Oh, okay, so his were soaking. Same as the iron <laughs> chef. Noodles. Okay. Yeah, now we're seeing very similar approaches here. Now, is he going to use truffles as well? Well, that would make it identical. So hmm. what is this going to be? Well, this is on Sakai's side, just about completely prepped, and I guess the uh, oven most likely next. And now back with challenger Hoso Guy. Uh, foie gras again. Foie gras. Uh, foie gras, yeah, and persimmons. Right in front there, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's got the dried persimmons yep. as well. I think so. Mm. Okay. So he used that for another stew dish before, right? Right, yes, he did, the dried ones. Yeah, I thought so. He's kind of like um, tying the dishes together then. Yeah, the, the flavor is doing mm. that, right. Okay, and with mm. persimmon, he's got the persimmon there. Fukusan? Go. Yes, these are dried persimmons. Okay, you see? <laughs> mm hmm Yep, and foie gras on top right there. Well, that seems to go together well. Well, actually, foie gras matches very well with sweet items like fruit. Mm. It does. Tied yeah. okay. fat netting. You mean the two chefs are doing that? <laughs> hey, check a look at this. He's putting truffles wow. in it too. Yep, yep. And you well, know, at the bottom, and yeah. his portions are bigger. Mmm, luxurious. Indeed. Now this will be quite sweet and very nice. Well, dried persimmons used for flavoring in a second dish here by Hosa Guy. Mm. And now, 20 minutes, 20 minutes left, and checking in close on Iron Chef Sakai's, and these are not going into the oven. He's using the frying pan. Yes, as the sounds of sizzle kick up the appetite. Fukuisan! The Iron Chef, yes, go! I'm on the challenger side again where I asked the challenger if he could make Kano-san's favorite soup using oxtail. Chef Hosogai says, I feel honored that he still remembers that soup, but I'm a pro and I'll make it for him. I'm not going to serve it exactly the same, though. I'll have to do a little rearranging. Okay, a little rearranging, but he will have one. And now, coming out of the oven on the Iron Chef's side... Oh, now this will be served as is. Just... Put it on the plate. The cooking like is that. done mm. on that one, and mm. I imagine Sakai will serve it himself to the panel. Yeah, I would think so. And right. remember, it's got a sprinkling of herbs on it right there. Yeah. On. Go. Yeah, I don't know if you caught it or not, but the challenger looked concerned and unhappy about something just a second ago. I poked around and I found out that he's not satisfied with the fat netting that he was given. Hmm, what's the problem? Hmm. Okay, well, here he is blanketing them with the sauce. This goes into the oven, I'm imagining. That makes sense. All right. And it looks like a similar deal on the other side, but Hosogai will cook his in the oven, whereas Sakai was frying his. Right. But the cooking method's different. Go ahead, Ota. Yeah, sorry to interrupt, but the sauce that the challenger poured onto the fat netting wrap was created by taking the broth out of the pressure cooker and adding truffle juice to it. That's what was poured on before going into the oven. Wow, rich. Hmm. I see. Now, wait, is this a dessert with what? Beans? Maybe broad beans? Hmm. Kind of huh. looks like beans, doesn't it? Ah, uh, green. Oh, I can't tell. <laughs> Now, he mm. may not have solid oxtail in this. I'm not too sure, but I know he already has the flavor in the gelatin, right? Okay, and now the Iron Chef hunkered down over his roasted oxtail right there. Huh? Oh, wait a minute. No, wrong. He put it on. Oh, yeah. So it wasn't as is. Yes, he's tearing it apart. And now, what does Holso Guy have now on his side? Gyoza skin? Yeah, gyoza this time around. Okay, less than 15 minutes left, and how about one last interview with Kano? Oka? Okay, thank you, Kano-san, with only mm. 15 minutes left. Have mm. your views changed at all? The Iron Chef is working at his own pace, I think. Uh-huh. But the challenger, he couldn't find a good fat netting, and uh, 
some other mishaps. That's right. I mean, he's not used to the kitchen, you know? It seems like he has started to rush a bit to hmm. beat the clock. Uh, the Iron Chef is using rice? Looks good. Yes. <laughs> Oops, I just had to say that. <laughs> Okay, back to you for Guisan. All right, thanks. And I have to agree with Kano right there. That looks awesome. A chunk of oxtail in the middle, bamboo shoots around it, enoki mushrooms, possibly some ginger. I think he's hit pay dirt with this one. Definitely. Oh, that looks awesome. A chunk of oxtail in the middle, bamboo shoots around it, enoki mushrooms, possibly some ginger. I think Sakai's hit pay dirt with that one. Definitely. It looks yeah. great. Oh, yeah, I agree. Mm, no doubt totally. about it. No doubt. Now, this is a Western style rice porridge or rice in soup, mm, basically. Well, it's a nice dish to end up with, huh? Yeah. Now, check out the challenger here with the gyoza skin. Okay, uh, shredded or maybe minced oxtail meat in them. Looks like a big ravioli. A yeah. Right there so and the pat down. Boil this or grill it? What's well, it I do for boiling. Grilled would be a little far away mm. from French. Well, it would be a lot more ravioli like if it's boiled. Hmm. Uh. And uh, with some sauce on it, maybe? Yeah, that's, well, that sounds good. Yeah. Sure. I can't wait. Now, let's take a look at the Iron Chef's croquette here. Oh, oh, yes, wow. right there, sitting in the sauce. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, and the Fritz Fritz Express Spring. Yeah. Go. <laughs> yes, this sauce is a combination of butter, garlic, brown mushrooms, white wine, and oxtail broth, which has been pureed together and strained. Mm, sounds delicious mm -hmm. right Ten there. No, I don't have to tell you guys, the Iron Chef is fantastic in making sauces. Right. That's why he always wins, you know. His dishes don't look that much different, but the sauces are just incredible. Uh, that's his M.O. Go. Yeah, the challenger has been sauteing some rice in a pot, along with ingredients like olive oil, garlic, and onions, but it also contains if we can get a shot of it. Another look here, a top brand Japanese sake known as Koshino Kambai. All right, well, here it is on replay. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, so risotto then. At yeah. first I thought right. it was just onions in there, but it's a risotto, but how will sake affect the flavor? Mm, now what's this? What's this? Huh? Cheese, isn't it? Uh... The cheese. Like Parmesan cheese? Actually, it's not Parmesan or any other cheese. It's minced edible lily bulbs. What? What? Lily bulb. Okay, well, that's feasible, mm -hmm. sure, okay. Uh... It's kind of like adding potatoes okay, in a way. Okay, lily yeah. bulbs, they are edible, of course. And now back to the Iron Chef's side, the pressure cooker being opened over there. Oh, wow. look at that. Amazing. Mm. A classic this red wine awesome. stew. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> so tasty, well cooked. Yeah, the red wine stew. Some of the contents, though, stuck at the bottom of the cooker. Yeah, it may be overdone just a little, but oh. look at that. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, well, wait a minute. This could be a problem. From the bottom of the barrel. Uh-oh. Mm. Well, savory. Looks okay. Mm -hmm. Think it'll be quite tasty. Yeah, now which one's... It's on it. Oh. oh, the challenger here. Okay, an oxtail tartar on top there. Mm. Now, you'll notice on top of that, that white thing that he's putting there, that's the horse mane fat. Mm. Mm. It uh, looks like it would have a really thick flavor. Yeah, well, it looks a bit heavy, doesn't he's, it? He's yeah. going for the ultimate in thickness. Uh, oh, I well, don't want it to be so what fast. What you see is what you get. Go. The white sauce that you just saw the challenger apply to this dish is simple mayonnaise. Your basic mayo. Mayo. Oh, really? Five minutes to go. All right, five minutes left. We're down to crunch time here. The challenger support is trying to spur him on to the finish, and Kano looking deadly serious. Hosa guy's been aggressive, some thick flavored dishes, and that last one, rich or heavy on the fat, depending on your perspective. <laughs> the Iron Chef here now, his oxtail rice porridge hosting a meat and green veggie pear on top. And rape blossoms, That's asparagus, it. and I know this is a stewed item. Okay, sure. go. On top of this rice is a combination of boiled and shredded oxtail meat, the broth made from boiling, and also veal broth all simmered together. Hmm, complex combo in the oxtail meat package, and now here... So this is like a perigou sauce. Such a great sauce. Another good one here. And for Cuisson? Go. If you're talking about this sauce, this was made by mixing the broth left over in the pressure cooker with veal broth. Mm. Now, this doesn't have truffles in it, so it's not a perigou sauce. All right. Okay, but with burdock, it's a unique offering to go with this sauce creation. Wait a minute, he's chilling this? Where? Huh? huh? Chilling? Chilling the ravioli in ice water. So he's going to serve it cold, maybe, with the sauce? There's an idea. You know, it looks a little bit like wontons, that maybe he could be putting it into a soup or something. Ah, oh, I get it, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's for the soup. It's uh, the favorite one of Kano-san. Oh, yeah. Komton soup. Yeah, yeah, he said he'd make so. one for Kano. Go. Yes, I'm on the Iron Chef site where he's created a cream dish using broad beans. If we can get another look. Here it is. The ingredients he used here were broad beans, fresh cream, and consomme jelly. Then he added a very small one portion of the baked go. oxtail, white maitake mushrooms, rosemary, etc. from this huge dish. Place 
it on top, and believe it or not, he says that this little bit is all he's going to use. Okay. Back to you. Wow, that sounds great. Now, here's oh, where the ravioli's gone. Yeah, ah, he's doing this intentionally. Okay, cool this ravioli idea. on mm. risotto. Okay, the cold one, yeah. On warm rice. Now that, what does that mean? Well, that means he just took it off right there, <laughs> substituting some veggie. All right, a green stalk and a leaf. This is by the challengers. Seconds now, 30 seconds left. The man from up north in Niigata trying to drop the Iron Chef. Uh, he made a Ooh, mistake. mistake. Uh, it's for a soup after all. Oh, major mistake if you didn't realize that. <laughs> yeah, chilled Let's item see. on top of a warm one would be awkward. Yeah. All right, about 20 seconds left now. So the Compton soup will be cold now. It'll be a cold <laughs> soup. We'll just have to wait and see. And Kano's now standing up on his side. One interested spectator. He marched him in here, his favorite chef, he says, Five bringing seconds. it right at Iron Chef Three, Sakai. Both two, men, some similarities, one. some subtle differences. And that's it. They're done. The oxtail battle is over. How did your dishes turn out? My dishes, well, so-so, I'd say. How about the win? Uh, that's up to the judges. The answer to that lies in the mouth of the tasters. Okay. The Iron Chef's approach was all classic, high-class French cuisine. I know he's good at calculating, and I'm sure the dishes are good, but I think the challenger tried many new things. Uh -huh. I give credit to his approaches. We'll see how the flavors turned out. Keep talking. <laughs> but I know what he's saying as a gourmet himself. And I think he was curious to see me this close making things. Oh. I can understand what he was saying. Mm -hmm. I had fun today. A lot of fun. Yeah? Yes. Challenger Hosogai is offering five dishes. First, oxtail royale and tartare toast. Codfish soft roe and crab brains pair up nicely with oxtail in the cup. The tartare toast has a sharp flavor and rich with horse mane fat and mayonnaise. The oxtail was marinated in shochu, a Japanese spirit, giving it a pleasant aroma. Second, oxtail soup. Here it is, a favorite of Tenmei Kano's, slightly rearranged. The gyoza using oxtail meat is wonderful and a great match for the gently flavored soup. Oxtail risotto, ingredients from Niigata, including top brand rice, are used, and a Niigata spirit in place of wine gives it a local touch. Shochu sorbet refreshes the judges' taste buds. It contains cartilage stewed in Japanese liqueur. Last is oxtail red wine stew. Here he adds his own touch to a classic recipe by using dried persimmons, this to make the oxtail as tender as possible. And mashed potato puree, another of Kano's favorites, is offered as a garnish. The Iron Chef has four dishes. First, oxtail jelly and broad bean mousse. It's a minor masterpiece, gently enveloping the oxtail with broad bean mousse. Second, oxtail and foie gras croquette. Crispy, savory croquettes with truffles and foie gras inside are enjoyed with the Iron Chef's champignon sauce. Oxtail red wine stew. His touch adds bone marrow, giving it a creamy texture and a hint of sweetness. He used South African tea to soften the meat. Last, French-style rice porridge, a unique porridge using asparagus and rape blossoms, conjuring up the arrival of spring. Photographer Tenmei Kano, a regular on our tasting panel, brings his favorite chef into the stadium, a French cuisine chef from up north in Niigata, today's challenger, Koji Hosogai. One chance, and he goes straight for his counterpart in our stable, Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai. Chairman Kaga unveils a theme he'd like to see find its place in French cuisine, oxtail, some already stewed, some raw. No creative deficiency for the challenger as he completes a quintet of dishes. The name of the game's to win. The Iron Chef will put up his quartet and let the chips fall where they will. And now, the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today are Lower House member Shinichiro Kurimoto, actress Keiko Saito, artist Korn, and fortune teller Kazuko Hosoki. Tenmei Kano will taste but not vote. First, the dishes of Challenger Hosogai. This first dish is a variant on tartar. I added a bit of horse mane fat to enhance the flavor. I just thought this hors d'oeuvre was going to be real thick, with the horse mane fat as well. But I tried it, and I was wrong. The texture and the flavor of the tartar, the fat on it, it's very nice. Really, I like this. 
And this one over here, it's also quite unique. It's not too sweet, and it's got a touch of bitterness. It's nice. Really, I like this. But you know, in this one, the meat is too soft or fluffy, and it's in the way of the crab and soft roe, I think. I don't know what you were trying to do. <laughs> it's the best dish I have ever had. <laughs> well, I'd like to say the toast, it's uh, done right, and the fat, the yes, oxtail good. fat, mm. oh, the horse mane fat. Those ingredients all blend in harmony, and the toast adds to that experience. A masterpiece, I'd say. I used really top-quality sake in the preparation of this dish you're about to have. What makes this taste so gentle? It's the lily bulbs you used? Yes. Mm, well, they really work. This isn't really beyond my imagination in terms of flavor, but the, the cooking of the rice, the finish, it's great, yeah. And now Hosogai will serve his oxtail red wine stew. I stuffed it with truffles, foie gras, and dried persimmons. Yes. Huh. Well, the ingredients have impact, you know. But they're almost too strong, and that kind of takes away from the contrast of the flavors. But the dish does accentuate the oxtail. This taste uh, could have been attained by using other parts uh, of the bowl, uh, the way it's flavored. I wanted something that really speaks for the tail. I felt that when I was trying this, but the, the flavor itself is good. The sweetness of persimmons and the foie gras impact, in my opinion, this is a superior way of ending a meal, I think. <laughs> yes. Mm. The tartar was great, the toast, and the last dish, which looked pretty heavy. Most of his dishes looked very thick, but once you tried them, they were not overpowering and orchestrated a nice course, I think. All right, and now Iron Chef Sakai's dishes are ready to go. If I had more time, oxtail and vegetable terrine would be so awesome, you know. The oxtail on top is just grilled. Trying to prepare tough things tough. The uh, aroma of the broad beans is really so splendid. You know, uh, and the way it matches uh, with the jelly is uh, it's really just, uh, well, it's something else. This is wonderful. Any objections? Your Honor, with all due respect. Huh? Well, this is like a cracker of oxtail. It's just like a jerky. It's very salty, and I'd say he's trying to fool us with his uh, techniques. And... Boy, this is so fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> this is an orthodox menu. Well, you already had one fat netting, so please take it off when eating. I think the Iron Chef's dish is better in terms of matching with the fat netting. The oxtail is just so tender and so natural in texture. Really, it's good. But this is something you can get at his restaurant. To be blunt, this lacks originality, in my opinion. So very sophisticated in skill, but not so high in scores. <laughs> I know I'm not voting. <laughs> yes, well, actually, this is a French-style risotto in soup. Right now, I have nothing to say. This dish reminds me of, like, home cooking, but I know it took a lot of work. The previous one was like a risotto in texture. So uh, this one is more like a porridge. To me, the Challenger's dish was a bit better, nice and, and light. Yeah. The Iron Chef was methodical, carefully leading us through his courses. Taste-wise, well, it's 50-50 between the two, I think. Right. It's a personal preference. Right, I agree. The Iron Chef showed us his experience at Kitchen Stadium. He knows what we like. Yes. Yeah. We said early on, two bulls going at it. Which one's going to get gored? We'll find out. Hello, 
それでは発表します。Today, the oxtail battle giving rise to some new directions for French cuisine in Japan. Tenmei Kano, who knows what flies here, bringing in his favorite chef, Challenger Hosogai, the creative quotient high, as was the finished product. The Iron Chef, as always, delivering quality. Now it's a matter of taste. His or the Challenger's? Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? It's the Iron Chef! Sakai is the one riding high! A big victory! A mighty challenge by the man from Niigata. But the Northern Star will not shine tonight. Sakai over Hosogai. French cuisine supremacy remains in Tokyo. All right, the scores. Kurimoto, 1917 Iron Chef. Saito, 1918 Iron Chef. Korn, 2019 Iron Chef. Hosoki, 1917 Iron Chef. Unbelievable, a sweep for Sakai. He pulls it out, sending Hosogai home empty-handed. Winning streak at five. Don't mess with Iron Chef French, Hiroyuki Sakai. Honestly, the challenger did quite well. Well, it's very tough doing it here, you know? I think he was only able to show 60 to 70% of his full potential. I can't give it up just like this. I feel like a revenge match. But、uh, anyway, this tells you how great the Iron Chef is. He's great.